This video is being made by request from uh, the special education meeting in October that we were a part of. And we are using Google Forms to document um, student consultation time, um, start time, end time, who you sat down with, IEPs, uh, relations of activity, which was accomplished that day. So various things, but we want to specifically filter or sort all these responses to narrow it down to one or two students. Uh, the reason being is because we have to have so many minutes of consultation time um, per, per month. And I want to easily see um, how many minutes I've sat down with each student uh, by filtering it. So I've made this one up. There's um, six responses here, so six meetings that I sat with students. But the typical might be 50 to 100, depending on how many students you have. Uh, so if I want to just view this. Um, for gym only, I know there's only six responses, but some of you may have 20 or 30 consultation times with Jim. Uh, what I can do is I can go to, actually, I first want to highlight column B because that's the name. So highlight the name column, go to your data, and down at filter, click on filter. And what that did is it made a drop down arrow inside column B. Click on the drop down arrow and I can filter it. Uh, you can see that they're all check marked. I want to clear all those check marks and just check mark Jim. So I want to see how many times I sat with Jim and add that time up easily. Hit OK. And you can see only Jim pops up in my consultation time. I know we're at 10 and 7 to 17 minutes so far this month. And you have your date and time right there. So you can see exactly how long you sat down with Jim and how much more, um, how many more minutes you'll need to sit down with him to uh, obtain your goal. If I want to take my filter off, just go back to data, turn off filter, and it takes you back to your regular spreadsheet.